Hey guys, so recently I was strolling through the streets of Instagram and I came about a particular post where one woman was complaining about spending about, I think, 1.7 million naira. This is ridiculous. 400,000 to run an advert for 10 days. Okay. 400 and something, I think 428,000 naira was for Apple service charges. So when you promote an ad on the Facebook app, Apple sees it as an in-app purchase and they charge you 30% for it, okay? She had spent, again, about maybe 1.2, 1.3 on ads and Apple then charged her 420 something thousand, making it 1.7, okay? There were some other things like tax, local fees, all of that, right? Now, I've said it in a few of my previous meta videos on this channel, but stop running ads from within the app okay now i might sound like a broken record or if this is your first time seeing me hi my name is damini um consider subscribing if you're if, if you're looking for e-commerce tips um but yeah in terms of why i tell people not to promote ads on the on the facebook app or instagram app is because there's a lot of targeting that you can't do there's a lot of data that you kind of lose when you boost from within the app and things like that but there are certain scenarios where yes people would want to promote within the app so for example if you're a beginner when it comes to facebook ads or instagram ads you know promoting via the app is simple it's straightforward it's quick it's easy things like that however you will pay for that easy <laughs> right just like that woman paid for it again 400 and something thousand naira just on service fees guys apple service fees and you know what's funny on the meta page right there's a facebook or what meta there's a meta page that actually tells you to avoid paying for the apple fees while running facebook ads if you are running a nigerian business or you are trying to set up a nigerian facebook ad account you have to most likely use a prepaid account, right? And you use that using you you make payments for that using a play platform, <laughs> play using a platform called PayU, right? And in this video, I'm going to sort of show you how to set up the um, PayU system and set up a Facebook ad account that you can use from Nigeria. You need to create a Meta Business Suite. Okay, for context, let's use Agbero. You guys know what Agbero is, right? So. If you run ads from Instagram or Facebook directly, you have to pay an Agbero 30%, right? Which is the Apple services fee in this scenario. But imagine if you don't have to pay any Agbero because you are connected to the owner of the building, the landlord, okay? So Meta Business Suite is the landlord. And that's exactly what I want you guys to do. Create a Meta Business Suite and put your Facebook business page and put your Instagram professional account or business account in that meta business suite so that way you don't pay the 30 percent apple service charge to the ag bureau right me have no vex they are not ag bureaus but you get what i mean the first thing i want you to do is go to business.facebook.com slash overview you will then come up to this page right on this page you'll see multiple options you can sign in with your facebook if you already have a facebook account you can sign in with instagram if you have a, an instagram account or you can create an account okay this is this is the first step for creating that business suite that landlord or that other landlord that i'm talking about this is the first step right um now if you do not have a if, i'm just going to imagine that you don't have a facebook because i've noticed that a lot of people don't have facebook maybe it's not hip it's not cool to have facebook anymore uh everybody has an instagram account or a tiktok account or x um i can't believe i'm calling twitter x these days but yeah one thing you need to understand is if you are running an e-commerce business and you want to be profitable right you want to build it long run all of those amazing things and you're targeting people within the ages of i'll probably say 50 to 27 you need to open a facebook you need to open a facebook page like you let's be serious here you need to have a facebook page okay and to have a facebook page you need a facebook account so please and please open a facebook account it is very very simple it's not difficult at all now i have multiple other accounts so sadly i can't show you the process of creating a new account but i can tell you what it is because i've done it so many times they would ask you for your name 
right and the name of the business you want to work with and then you should provide an email address the email address is just to sort of verify your identity and confirm your uh, business registration something like that this is what the meta business manager looks like if you've connected your facebook and instagram accounts you would see both of them connected here you can see an ads manager account now obviously i told you you want to run ads from the ads manager right but you would think that you can just go immediately to the ads manager account and start running ads mm -mm, no now yes you have access to the landlord which is the meta business suite or meta business manager right good however you need to first be friends with his pa Let's call it that. And that PA is the ad account. You need to create an ad account. It is with that ad account that you will then create your ads in the ads manager. If you don't have an ad account, you are basically wasting your time. Okay? I'm going to show you all of that. But let's quickly do a tour around the um, Meta Business Manager. So here you can see um, account overview. You can see um, planner. So planner is where you can uh, schedule posts. If you don't want to pay for things like Sprout or Hootsuite, um, you have it's broken down into sections basically. So one section is for engagement, another one is to advertise, one is analysis and reporting, um, selling your products. So as an e-commerce business, you can have like a catalog, all those amazing things. If you connect to Shopify, you can have like a Shopify catalog, you can run as ads, all those kind of things. We'll get there. <laughs> well, it depends. If you join my program, obviously you get access to these things. If you want to wait for me to post it on YouTube, one day we'll get there. However, we need to go and see the PA, which is creating another account. And to do that, we go to settings, okay? Now in the settings section, you have different parts. You have users, accounts, brand safety, data sources, ad partnerships, and the list goes on and on and on and on. However, what you need to concern yourself with is users, accounts, and data sources. Now, when you look at users, this is where you can pick which people you want to add or which users you want to add to your business manager, your new business manager, right? Let's still continue with this landlord uh, concept. You've paid, you've paid the landlord, right? You've created a new business manager account. You've met with the landlord. Fantastic. But you don't want to give access to just any Tom, Dick or Harry to walk into your building, right? You don't want to have, you don't want anybody to have access to your Instagram page or your Facebook page, things like that. However, there will come a time in your business where you can't do everything by yourself. So because of that, you might have to bring other people on board. So you might want to bring somebody to maybe manage your ads. You might want to bring somebody to manage content. You might want to bring somebody to maybe respond to people's comments and things like that or to schedule content for you um, and all of that. And the best way for you to do that is in the settings, going through the user um portion or section let's call it that now in the account section this is where you want to connect your facebook account or your facebook page you want to connect your instagram account your whatsapp account and the ad account now the next one is the data sources now data sources have they have a lot of things um what you what i want you to understand is in your data sources you have data sets i think now they call them data sets before it was split from pixels and things like that but you have data sets now within that data set you actually have your pixel right um in the previous video i mentioned that the pixel is a little piece of code that you use to track people's behaviors on your site and then get them hopefully to come back again you know when you start running ads there's the retargeting ad and all of that you use that through the pixel now i'm going to assume that you have your instagram account you have your whatsapp account and you have your facebook account set up all that is left is your ad account okay so let's get that up and running now for your ad account the first thing you're going to do here is pick a name I'll suggest you pick a name that is relevant to your business. Next up you want to do is pick a currency. Obviously, that will be um, Nigerian, Naira. You also pick a time zone, which is Africa, Lagos. I, I hope this is pretty straightforward, but again, it's a tutorial, so I have to mention it, right? Um, next one here is, you then click next. Like you can see, it's going to show you multiple currencies you can pick from South African Rand, Indian Rupee, things like that, blah, blah, blah. Let's go next. So next, it's going to ask you one, two questions. Are you setting up this ad account for your business or for another business? Obviously, we're setting this up for our business. So we click our 
business, right? And then it's going to ask you to confirm if this business manager, which is new, is what you want to connect to the new ad account, which is also new. Obviously, you're going to say yes, and then you're going to accept the meta terms and agreements. And that's pretty much it. Your ad account has been successfully created. Congratulations. The next thing you're going to see is to add the payment info. Now, if you click on this, you should be taken to a screenshot I'm going to show you now. If you not, if you can't see that screenshot, do not proceed with this method. Close this, close this whole section. Don't worry, it's fine. If you close it, your ad account is not going anywhere. You still have your ad account. What I want you to do is go to the ads manager itself, probably open it in a new tab. And then under the ads manager, you go to the billings and payments. In billings and payments, you see a portion that actually says set up your, your account because obviously you've not set it up. And then you click get started. Once you click get started, this ad payment information will now definitely show up. Here, all I want you to do is just kind of confirm the country, right? Confirm the country or region. What I've noticed is um, sometimes, and obviously this is depending on where you are, but people that are in diaspora that want to open the Nigerian ad account so that it's easier for them to monitor their business and run their business with Nigerian payments and things like that, you need to make sure that the country is showing Nigeria. So even if you're in the UK, you're in America, you're in Bahrain, wherever it is you are, change it to Nigeria. And then, you know, the currency and the time zone, Naira and Lagos, things like that. Okay. Once you have that, you click next. Here you will then see you have multiple options to make payments, especially the pay you um, option, which is very, very important for us. So, Congratulations, you've successfully created your Meta um, ad account, which is a prepaid account. Um, let's put in some money and let's test the whole thing out. So here you're going to click on make payments with pay you. You're going to click this. Um, the next option is going to ask you for your VAT ID, which is optional. I'm just going to skip this. You can add yours if you have it. Um, it's going to give you a suggestion of how much to put. Automatically, I always get this 4-5. I think I'll try this for somebody and they got 4-5 as well. Um, so I'm just going to go with this. So let's put 4-5 in there. Um, it's going to ask you for a payment confirmation. Um, then you click, OK, Naira payments. Then head up to the PayU platform itself. Put in your card details, your CVV, all of that, all of that. Um, then your bank is going to ask for a confirmation, maybe through an OTP or something like that. And depending on the kind of bank you use. And uh, yeah, that's it. I have credited this ad account. This this first this my new ad account has been credited. I have paid the Oga landlord and um, his PA their first their first salary, right? And you would then think that okay, we have this up and running. Let's go and run some ads. But before you run ads, I need you to also understand that we need to set up our pixel. I told you, the data set is very, very important. So we need to set up our pixel and our conversion event. Then we can run our ads.